a lot of pitfalls. Back to Oracle and Rackspace. John, if we run out of time, I'm still going to go. Don't worry about the tape. So a client comes to me and says, I want you to host Oracle Financials for us. I'm like, no problem. We've been hosting for you before. We run to run on Linux. I'm like, yeah, you know, we really don't hold ourselves out as Linux superstars. Back to the train flea thing. Could we have done it? Yeah. Talk to my guys. They're like, eh, let, let's not do it. I'm like, all right, fine. Let's not do it. So I said, hey, go to Rackspace. I mean, Racks, I mean, they're, they're Rackspace. I mean, they're awesome. So they go to Rackspace. So I go to Rackspace, they get a rack, they provision it all out, they get their whatever resources they need. Um, $2,500 a month, I think it was. The Oracle developers go out and they install Oracle and put all the pieces together on all the multiple servers and all that stuff. And as software is, it's amazing. It just doesn't work all the time, but it breaks. Did you never notice that? Like sometimes it just doesn't work. And so it doesn't work. And so they called the developers. And they're like uh, the, the, the gurus, right? I mean, these are the guys. These are the Oracle gurus. They know everything. And they say, it's not us. It's the operating system. No problem. We're going to call Rackspace. They call Rackspace. Rackspace says, um, well, according to our service level agreement, we are not responsible for your operating system. That's your problem. Well, um, we, we, we don't have anybody who knows Linux. Can you help us? No. Well, you, certainly you have a person there. No. Well, can't, no. So they call us again. Now we're back to us fixing it in rack space. I should have just done it myself. That's a true story. You know how long that went on? Eight months. They brought in three separate consulting firms and eventually went to McKinsey, one of the big four big bucks to fix it. So you need to understand your inter-vendor risk. It is there. It is smacking people in the face and it doesn't come to them until they come out of the clouds. And then they realize they are getting royally not happy. Um, platform providers versus application developers. Who's watching the operating system? That's what I was just talking about. This is a key point. Depending on your business, <coughs> RPO, RTO, these are big, big topics. How long can your business be down and you not go out of business? That is a huge question. You want to you want to see a dull blank CEO stare? That's a good one. How long? And of course, they'll come up with a number. It's almost irrelevant what it is, because. They had no metrics whatsoever to come up with that number. And then you go back into your room and you figure out what it's going to cost to build that solution. So they're only down X number of minutes, hours, whatever the case may be. And then all of a sudden it becomes a risk that they're not willing to undertake. That's a reason to go to the cloud. The reality is cloud providers go down as well. Postini's gone down nationwide. There's been Blackberry outages has gone down. QuickBooks Online was down for 48 hours. Okay? It happens. There's no such thing as a perfect computer system. But you got to know your risks. The other thing is, I don't know about the other companies. I don't know if you go to Rackspace, if they carry an insurance policy that says, hey, if we lost your data, we got an insurance policy, kind of like errors and omissions insurance for officers and directors, but we do. 